Only on 7 News, healed by beatboxing. An Aurora woman with a rare brain tumor recovers with the rhythm of her own mouth. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen shows us how the healing power of music inspires the fighter in Lexi Greenwell and everyone she meets. If anyone marches to the beat of her own drum, literally, it's Lexi Greenwell. Just last year, the singer beatboxer from Aurora was fighting to hit the big time, performing live, selling music on iTunes, even auditioning for a network music show. On the verge of her big break, though, Lexi's drum beat suddenly stopped. I was having headaches and I was slurring my words and I just thought I was tired. In a matter of weeks, Lexi's health dramatically deteriorated. Double vision, dizziness, facial paralysis. An MRI revealed a rare tumor like this one in the worst possible location. This structure right here, that's the brain stem. And very small, and that's right where her tumor was. Neurosurgeon Robert Spessler says Lexi was diagnosed with a cavernous malformation, a benign tumor made of blood vessels. When it hemorrhaged, it would leave her able to think, but unable to communicate her thoughts in any way. I felt as though I was trapped within my own body. I couldn't talk, <laughs> I couldn't see. Um, I started losing my hearing. When you're going through such a downward spiral, you don't know how much longer you have. There goes a final. Lexi's new fight would be for her life. On her YouTube channel documenting the journey, she arrives at Barrow Neurological Institute in Phoenix, one of the only places she could find surgeons willing to perform a risky procedure to remove the tumor. If we didn't take the risk, I, I would be dead. Were there ever moments when you felt sorry for yourself where you thought, I'm 19 years <laughs> old, I shouldn't have to deal with oh, it? Of course, of course. For a long time, I sort of was wondering, you know, why me? Um, but after a while, I, I knew that the answer to that question was because I was strong enough. Strong enough to survive the successful surgery, but recovery would put that strength to the test once again. So go ahead and stand up. And While doing intense physical therapy to relearn how to walk. She's just amazing to work with because she works so hard. Lexi also had to relearn to talk. But yeah, this whole huge packet. And turns out speech therapy sounded really familiar. Well, those exercises actually helped bring back to life the muscles that were paralyzed in my face. And she wants to show me how. Let me teach you how to beatbox. Okay, all right, I'm ready. Just say letter B. B. Letters difficult for her to pronounce. Exactly. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> Beatboxing forced her to practice. The third sound is the K sound. Come do it with me. Come, come, let's see if we can do it together. Okay, ready? And ready. Awesome. Right. <laughs> In less than a year, Lexi has made an almost total recovery. She's temporarily wearing a bedazzled eye patch. I try to have one for every outfit. Until a final surgery to correct double vision. But she has come so far so fast. Doctors tell me with this type of brain surgery, music can be an integral part of recovery. From speech therapy to gross motor skills to fine motor skills. It makes sense Lexi's march to recovery would be to the beat of her own drum. She puts it more simply though. She says music healed her. There goes a final. The biggest thing that music has helped me with has been just rebuilding myself from, from both the inside and the outside. <laughs> Knowing that I was able to pull from within to overcome something that, you know, people said I wasn't going to overcome. I mean, what more can I ask for? How lucky am I? Ta-da! Great story by Jacqueline Allen there. Lexi hopes to go back to college in the fall. She's majoring in computer science and plans to make music software, possibly some that will even allow people to do rehab like she's been able to do via computer.